majestic. We're lit today. All right, before I throw this next cast, guys, let's get in detail about the setup that I'm using today. It's a Daiwa Aird X, A-I-R-D X, 701 MFS. So that's a seven foot medium power fast action. But I find that the Aird X line of rods, bait cast and spinning, both have soft tips all the way through their medium heavy versions. So if you're gonna opt for a medium heavy, I would go for a different lineup, probably the Boyd Duckett Ghost. Those are some of the best spinning rods on the market. When you go to a medium heavy, I like to throw, you know, quarter ounce and up, three eighth, I'll go for a medium heavy. When I'm throwing something that weight, I need that hook to be driven home by a fast tip. The Aerodex has a softer one. So when I go above medium power, I'm gonna opt for a different rod. For medium and medium light, the Aerodex is the best, most economical option you have on the market, in my opinion. I've gone through a lot of different companies. I've tried a lot of different tackle. I am a tackle junkie. I love it all but I find some stuff that I like and I stick with it. Airdex is definitely one of those and uh, you won't be disappointed with this Airdex. I'm throwing 12 pound, 12 or 15, I think it's 15 pound braid to a 10 or a 12 pound Sunline FC fluorocarbon leader. And I've told you guys this many times, that's my style. I throw straight braid to a leader. If I'm in clearer water, you know, a longer leader suffices, but if you're in murky water, straight braid will do too. I find that I get more sensitivity, more strength, better hook sets, all that stuff from the braid. It also saves me a ton of money. I'm not filling up a whole spool with fluorocarbon. And then that line memory that fluorocarbon gets sometimes, you know, you'll go through a spool quickly if you're fishing often. With braid, I can use the same spool as long as possible. All right, enough tackle talk for now. We need a bite. We found that little concentration of fish and then it just dried up. I had a bite right there come back yeah that fish was tiny have not fished this area at all today all right last one over here we're gonna have to change something here we found that pocket of fish they have since left the area so we can sit here and wait for them to come back or we can move our ass around this little tiny bowl of a pond and find them. I'd rather get to them than wait for them. But I also can't resist one more cast in this sweet spot right here. Sometimes those calls that you make are the ones that catch you the big fish. So always get that last cast in if you're feeling it. Oh. You know, not a big one, but hey, if we wouldn't have made that cast and moved, we wouldn't have this fish. Thank you for helping me show the people what I was talking about. Now, did more fish come back to the area? Let's find out real quick. I thought we'd get our big fish right there, but the day's not over. We might, we might still. I saw you from a mile away. I saw you come out and try to be sneaky little guy. I saw you. You got a ways to go till your lunker status. Protein. Gym time. Small specimens today, but lots of them. That's fun, but we need a big fish. Do not mess up my Kytec. I don't want to walk back over there yet. So whenever you're in doubt, you know, move. Because I moved and I found fish. We're edging close to 30 fish by now, I'd say. But I'd trade all of you for one solid five, six pound fish. I would. Can we make the chatterbait work? I have faith. No love on the chatter, huh? I guess it doesn't matter that I only brought one. It's never what you think it is, guys. As Greg Hackney said, it's an open book. Oh no! 
Oh my God, that was the beast that we needed. Oh, oh, he killed it twice. Bigger, bigger for sure. Oh, please eat it again. There he is. Yes. He's no giant by any means, but. No, 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 come here. Got you. Quality. Okay, I have figured out a little bit about these fish, about what's going on. They want it a little bit slower. So the morning was all about that height bite, that straight up throw it in there, wind it quick, bring it back. As we go through the morning hours, nice fish. Chatterbait, Kytec, trailer, Shad Impact 4 inch. Bluegill flash or something. I don't know. Oh my god. Just slower. That's it. I'm using a six or a seven to one. What is this? Yeah, seven to one. So I was going way too fast. There's another one. It's amazing. All you got to do is little subtle tweaks. These little subtle tweaks that you do throughout the day. Oh, whoa, <laughs> he trucked me. We're at over 30 fish. I know it. By now, we've got to be. Unlock the swag. The swag, unlock. Oh, oh, oh. there he is again. What did I just say, man? No, 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 no. I didn't tighten that real seat down enough. I don't know how much of the last clip got cut out from the uh, memory card getting full, but what I was saying was little tweaks in your approach are going to catch you, you know, more fish, period. All I did was slow it down when I started coming through those remaining stalks of grass. I started slowing it down. So as soon as I came through, I just let that retrieve slow up a bit, and then the fish would take it as soon as it came out of that grass. So. That's what they're liking, or it was, you know, before I went and switched this memory card. They change in a matter of seconds, so it seems. Well, we'll see. I'm confident we're going to get our big bite on this right here. He's tiny, but it's a fish, and it's on the chatterbait. I mean, I, don't, I haven't been counting, so maybe I was stretching when I said 30, but I, I really feel like we're above 30 right now. I'll have to go look through the footage, which is going to be a pain. Oh my God, that's the big one. That's the big fish. Oh. Oh, goodness gracious, goodness gracious. Oh my God, this might be my biggest. Come here. This is my biggest fish out of here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, come here, come here. Good gravy. Good God. Oh my God. All right, I'm officially freaking out. We gotta get back to the phone. To the scale, to the scale. Come here. God damn it, that's huge. All right, his life is important. We gotta get to the scale. This is what we wanted. Oh my God. Look at this fish. Oh my God. I have a scale. He's huge. Five, nine, four. You see it. Six pounder. Six pounder, baby you one last look at this beautiful creature man look at that thing 
He's huge. He's freaking huge. Oh my God. All right, baby. All right, baby. You're going back, don't worry. I'm literally gonna sit down on the floor, I don't care. All the way in. Oh my God. Look at that thing, he's lively. I know, you wanna go. I'm just making sure you're good, honey. Oh man. Look at that. Oh, I don't wanna let you go. Get bigger, baby. She's off. Incredible. We did it, Warrior Gang. Persistence pays. You know, they say, they say the tug is the drug. Endorphins kicking. That's another fish. But yeah, it's never what you expect, guys. So keep an open mind. That's another nice fish. And he ain't he ain't six pounds, but he's two and a half. Are you two? Nah, you're like one and a half. You felt good. Tug is the drug. Oh. I would say today is lit. It's gonna be hard to leave. That's what it looks like when you give a thousand percent effort, man. You stay versatile, you don't get stuck, as Greg Hackney would say on one page of the book that is fishing. Because bass fishing is just an endless book, right? You keep learning, you keep turning the pages, and it never ends. And that's why I love it so much. You know, it just, it goes to show you, I didn't have a thousand percent confidence in the chatterbait. I had a thousand percent confidence in the Easy Shiner, but I still gave the chatterbait a chance. I tried it and I tried it for a while. I didn't just throw it a couple times and give it up. You know, I, I threw it for a while earlier. I put it down and I came back to it because I really, you know, I had, a, I had a hunch. And that goes, that goes along with another thing that Greg Hackney said in our last video. Go check that out about instinct, about gut feeling. You know, I just, I felt like the chatterbait would be the wave. You know, I didn't think it would outperform the Easy Shiner, but obviously it got the bigger fish to bite, and that's what we want. Like I said, we'd trade all 30 of those fish, or however many we got, we'd, tra we'd trade them all for that one. So it looks like that's what we needed to do, was upsize our bait a little bit, slow it down. And I think what really got that fish keyed in on the bait was, was me switching the cadence, switching the retrieve speed. I slowed down, and then I just opened the book, man. These fish started eating it. They weren't touching it when I was really zooming it back in. So you gotta pay attention to every little minor detail. I mean, even right now, just from that last fish to what I'm throwing right now, same bait, same presentation, same everything, right? I switched out the Easy Shiner trailer to a different color. It's the Pro Blue Red Pearl. And what was on there before was like a bluegill flash. So it's a lot more shiny, gets, gets noticed. The Pro Blue Red Pearl is more subtle. So if we don't get hit, you know, it might come down to something as specific as the trailer on the chatterbait. You gotta test these things out, man. It ain't easy. People say, how do you fish? Or how are you good at fishing? You know, huh, where do I begin? Well, monsoon season, anybody? I get it, I get it, nature, your boss, chill. Chill, you can chill out now. Now, now what are the chances we pull up on another fish that big? <laughs> another uh, another slow down retrieve, and he popped it. It's a nice fish. Man, no slouching around here in quality today. No slouch. Yeah, that is not a sloucher right there. That's a nice fish. Live long and prosper. Go this way though, because there's a 50 pound snapper that's gonna eat you that way. That way. All right. Another one bites the dust. So while I'm, uh, while I'm throwing the chatterbait, what setup am I using? Seven to one 
high speed reel. Pissy Fun Torrent, seven foot two, no, seven, seven foot one, medium heavy power, fast action. It's got a very nice stout tip for setting the hook on these single hooked baits like chatter baits, spinner baits, jigs, Texas rigs, all that good stuff. Like I was saying earlier, you know, you go to a medium heavy, you're gonna wanna step it up. You're gonna want a torrent rod, or, you know, if you're doing spinning, you wanna duck it. But torrent has you covered for all your bait cast rod needs. It's obviously been performing wonderfully today. So shout out to my sponsors, Pissy Fun. Nice six, there's one. Six pound fish on the torrent, like first or second day I use it. I mean, we're in, we are well into the 35, like that clo closing in on 40 fish range. Good Lord. Just gotta stay down, stay diligent, stay patient. A lot of guys will get in like a lull where it's like an hour of no bites and they just get discouraged and they sulk and they get salty. Rid yourself of the salt because the hour that's dry is totally worth it. You know, you go seven hours of dryness for one fish like what I just caught, all worth it. Am I wrong? Another one, another one. Doesn't seem too bad from the looks of it either. My battery's about to die. Hopefully we get him in before it does that. Oh, you're, oh, he came off. All right, all right. That's his way of telling me, we have more in store for you, Dave. Go get a new GoPro battery. Okay, go in. You know, once you find the niche, you know, what's catching fish most consistently, you, I mean, it's just game over. At least for now, we found that. This, look at this snapper. Look at that snapper. He's just, he knows I'm here catching fish. He's smart. You're not that big either. He knows, like when he sees fish in distress up near me, he knows it's time to, to get a meal. Not today, buddy. I'm saving lives out here, man. I'm saving your life today. Go that way. The snapper is right there. He's right there. You put a foot in there, it's gone. So I have to pay attention. It's interesting sometimes the way they hit it. It's like they they sort of run up on it and decide at the last second. I'm trying to get you out of the water real quick so this Mr. Snapper doesn't see you. All right, now just for shits and giggles, we're gonna stay in the same spot. I was gonna move, but let's try a couple casts with the Easy Shiner in the same spot, and we'll see if it's the bait or the spot. You know, that's an easy way to test it. O for one. O for two. And if you notice, I fan cast it. I went one here, one here, we'll do one that way. It is location. Oh yeah, this is nice right here. We've got a really wide range to cover from this spot, so. There he is. Is that a nice fish? Yes it is. Oh! He's not done fighting. Oh man, that's a big fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. You went and got caught up in some other line real quick, didn't you? <laughs> that's wild. That is just wild. All right, mama. Thank you. No. Oh my God. 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 Take it out of the case. Take it out of the case. Bruh. 
that I don't I mean I hope the phone still works so you guys can see these pictures that was really stupid really stupid I might need to leave now and get this phone in some rice that's all it took That's all it took man my trailer was hanging off the wrong way like the trailer was just oh my god <sighs> solid I want to take the phone out for the folks but they're gonna have to come to YouTube magic magic bait magical day for that matter Look at that thing, man. All quality fish. I'd say our limit has got to be like, golly, 14 pounds? Easily. I'll go back through my order history and see what chatterbait this is, but it's not a Z-Man. I think it's actually just a vibrating jig. I don't think it's called a chatterbait per se, but that's all a chatterbait is anyway, the bladed jig. Got him! This is just stupid action right now. Stupid. This is lit! This is lit! They are so beautiful. Unreal. Fine, fine specimens, man. Give you some light. That's why I keep doing this. Going this way, so they get the light. See how pretty they really are. He's chilly, somewhat. These fish, man. You have a little cold snap like this after it's been warm all summer. Sometimes it gets some stupid fired up. Oh! <laughs> they are so good at not getting hooked. I don't get it. That's not a bad fish. It's not a bad fish at all. I mean, three after three after three after two after two after, you know, it's just, you get the picture. You've had a rough life, buddy, but you're still beautiful. Tell the ladies, scars are beautiful. All right, playa. All right, ladies and gents, I hope this has been a fun-filled video for you guys. Fun-filled and informative. You know, that's what I aim for. A little entertaining, somewhat but mostly knowledge. So if you learned today, hit the like button, comment, holler at me, and uh, it's been absolutely nuts. I'm not sure if we're gonna go home and talk about it. Um, for now, I'm out, man. But I did say one more cast. So after I said last cast, <laughs> I cast it again, and we end the day, we end the day on a high note. The final fish to say goodbye. That's great. Thanks, buddy. I lied again. I can't help myself. But the last cast. Oh! But the last cast. I say that about 10 times before I actually leave, you know? Because this is what can happen. You keep casting, man. You keep casting and you might get bit.